So, let's see what is image encryption using scan pattern. Okay. Now, the basic logic is uh, again, we'll see a diagram to understand how exactly it works. Now, you have an image. Okay. This is the basic image. And you need to encrypt this. For encrypting this, you'll be using a password, text password. So let us place an encryption block. Okay. And uh, you'd be giving a text password here to encrypt the image. However, a text password will be small in length and one dimensional. Say for example, uh, one example is uh, hello123. Let it be my password. Okay. Now using this password, it is very difficult to uh, encrypt a two dimensional or three dimensional data. Images will be basically having two dimensional data with each dimension being represented by three bytes RGB in general cases. Okay. So what policy we are going to adopt is we are going to first generate a carrier image from this password. How are we going to do a carrier image? So password would be comprising of characters. Okay. We are going to select each character and map them into an encoding pattern. We'll take each character and encode them. The meaning of encoding is for every character finding a suitable binary code. Okay. Now what encoding uh, we are adopting here, uh, the encoding technique that we are adopting here is 4 out of 8 code. How simple uh, this code is, if we look into this paper. We can see that uh, generally user password will be comprising of characters that is 26 alphabets and as well as number from 0 to 9 that is 10 uh, numbers. So totally 36 code I do require. Okay. For this 36 codes the authors have considered a binary pattern. This binary pattern is such a way that every pattern should have at least 4 ones and uh, four zeros and that to each nibble nibble in the sense uh, four bits uh, starting four bits of a byte makes a nibble next four bits of a byte makes a nibble such that each nibble also has at least one one okay no nibble should be without ones so accordingly they have defined a code 000111 this is for capital A as well as small letter A uh, its decimal number is this one so accordingly for B they have defined a code C they have defined a code D they have defined a code and accordingly they have defined a code for from 0 to 9 if you look at our coding here we have defined the pattern as given in the paper okay binary code 00110011 so if you look into the paper this is exactly the pattern that they have provided also I do require to tell the system each pattern belonging to which character so I have defined one more array called characters A B C D E F up to 9 as it is in the table now we need to enter a password fine that will be stored in the password matrix what is the policy for encryption encryption of an image can be done at different stage or in multiple stages and in multiple ways if the encryption process is only a single stage then security is less as compared to multi-stage Encryption process may take different approaches. For example, encryption may be using only scan method 
or only phase by phase or phase magnitude manipulation method so uh, what we understand from this we are giving text as input we have original image encrypted image so what you got to do is uh, I'll go into the methodology section of how they have done it. As we enter different keywords, each keyword is taken and rearranged in a matrix form of size equal to the size of the original image. So original image is two dimensional. Whatever password you are giving, that password should be converted into a matrix of size, same size as the image. So let's proceed with the code. Once I have taken password from the user, I will be asking for an uh, image file to be entered fname path equal to your get file and so and so on. So this is my original image. I okay. will take down the size of the image. I am more concerned with x and y component because z will always be 3 for any real images. So I will be taking the size of the image. Now. Uh, the most important thing is this password comprises of character and instead of character I have to replace this binary pattern. So what I am going to do is extract each character from the password, find this character in this table. So suppose uh, my password was all A double L. Definitely the first character will be A. So if I write find characters equal to equal to A, it is going to return 1. That means this command is going to return the position where this character is appearing in this character table. Now, I am going to extract the binary pattern corresponding to the same position from this table, the top table. So, I have a binary pattern right now that is 1101 1, whatever. Now, I am going to convert it to decimal value. This decimal value is nothing but the substitution value which they have given over here. So bottom line, take a character, scan, I mean take a password, scan every character of the password, search in the character array, find the position, get the binary code and then finally convert that binary into decimal and store into a variable called number. So if the character was, if the password was of length 8 characters, then number will be of length 8 having number values decimal corresponding to this pattern now as per the paper statement we have to repeat this password till it becomes the size of the image now suppose my password was 8 byte but the image might be up 256 by 256 so i have to repeat this password till it becomes a matrix of 256 by 256 how I am going to generate the carrier image? I will take k equal to 1 starting index. Then for this entire height and width of the main image, carrier image of ij will be num of k. Num of so first character will come into first position, second, second value, third value, and I am going to increment this. But this is only of length say 8. However, the image will be of length say 256 by 256. Therefore, this has to be repeated many number of times. Hence, if k's value exceeds the number of characters I am having in number, k will again start from 1. So, it has become a repetitive statement. And how this is going to be done? Say for example, my number is of 2 characters. My password is of 2 characters. That is 2 and 3. So, first you are going to place... 2 then you are going to place 3 as I have said that it is of character 2 characters then you are going to place 3 now length exceeds you are again going to start from 1 so you are going to again copy 2 k increments you are again going to copy 3 k exceeds the length it will again start from 1 2 so in this way you are going to continue till you form the size of the image.
till it becomes size of the image so this is my carrier image i'm going to display the carrier image okay now i have a carrier image i have a main image this carrier image should be used to encrypt the main image one of the interesting thing is images pixel will be storing only bytes the values are between 0 to 255 and if you perform any encryption operation chances are there that the value exceeds 255 in that case the information will be lost so in order to tackle that what i'm going to do is i'm going to first convert the image into double so that it can take any number of values and then divide the main image values by 10 so if anything was 255 it is going to come down to 25 the logic behind that is if you see this table the maximum value that we have for this table is around 204 this is the maximum value so if i can substantially bring down this image values at the most the image may have value as 255 that is the maximum value divided by 10 is 25 so 25 plus maximum of the table value that is 205 is 230 which is lesser than 255 so i can accommodate that value now how the encryption should be done i should take each pixel from the image and i mean i should take each component of the image if you can remember we have taken the size of the image as x y z so z is equivalent to 3 so red component will be encrypted by adding with the carrier green component will be encrypted by adding with the carrier blue component will be encrypted by adding with the carrier now how the decryption process should done let us assume that user has given the same password so obviously carrier image will be generated from that password as my encryption included adding the carrier image with the main image decryption must be the reverse process so i'll be subtracting the carrier image from my encrypted image see here the encrypted image is nothing but im so i'll take one component that is a red component green component blue component i'll subtract this one now after subtracting whatever you get if you remember correctly what this value is nothing but the tenth part of the original value i had divided original image value by 10 so here in order to recover the original image value i'm going to multiply it with 10 this is a double format convert it into u int eight in order to get the decrypted image how so let us give a password say integrated id you can see this is your carrier image which is generated from the password this is the encrypted image the information is still there but it's almost like your main image and this is the recovered image thank you